everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing more Hearts of Iron 4, so I am back. If you're not following me on Discord or on Twitter, you're probably unaware that I have been sick the last few days. Uh, I had a stomach bug that hit me early Monday morning and just, like, wrecked my life. Like, worst bug I've ever had. Um, so I'm still feeling the effects of it. Today is uh, Wednesday that I'm recording. I hadn't thrown up since Monday, so I'm feeling mostly better, but I definitely don't have the energy, and I'm trying not to talk too much, so we'll probably end up keeping this uh, episode a little on the shorter side. Hello. Where did you guys come from? Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So, there's a bunch of troops all on this border up here that are not my troops. Okay. Well, let's do something about this then. Um, well, before I get into it, I just want to talk about a couple things. Number one, uh, I didn't do any recording this weekend. I've not done any recording since Thursday. Today's Wednesday, so almost a full week for me because uh, I had things to do this weekend. My wife was going to the airport, and um, I was going to like brunch with some friends and stuff like that. And so because of that, I was just like, you know what? We're just not going to do any recording. So I have been looking at comments. However, I'm just like way ahead of you guys, or at least I was way ahead of you guys. So I had some really, really good comments, and I want to address them and um, apologize because normally I didn't want to get too far. I think I even started the series by saying I didn't want to get too far, so I didn't get ahead of the comments, but we ended up doing so. Uh, Tunic, I think that's how you say your name, had a bunch of really awesome comments. Um, there's a couple other people, too. Um, but really, some people suggested, hey, next time don't uh, just uh, annex, or instead of annexing China, vassalize them, and then you can just use them for manpower, which, yeah, although the only question with that is then we wouldn't get the production out of it, which I'm kind of liking as well. Other thing is, they mentioned, hey, don't uh, 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 take over, um, don't annex... Um, Mancheria because until we finish this stuff because then you can improve all of uh, their crap first which yeah we probably should have done because we could have gotten free infrastructure and all that stuff and it's not like what we're working on right now is any any more important so that maybe was a mistake as well uh, if you've not been keeping up with the series we're basically at war with the entire world by ourselves right now I think we're in a losing war at this point uh, Germany got super aggressive really early on and just kind of screwed themselves and Germany is completely out of the war uh, Italy is now also out of the war yeah it's just me and Spain now basically me and Spain and then Siam so I'm wondering if they take out Spain I, I see this is why I didn't really want to be in the war because the problem is this whole war was over Greece World War II began over Greece which is kind of hilarious um, just because it's so outside the typical thing and then uh, Germany had the great idea of declaring war on Soviet Union which by the way apparently Soviet Union didn't declare war on me because we had a non-aggression pack at the time uh, so that's why they didn't come in on this war but right now I'm a little less concerned about Soviet war declaring war on me because well I kind of have to be so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna delete this line right here oh, this is actually a full army group let's just delete the entire army group and let's just split off this army group and we're gonna put you guys See if I can do this properly. Wait, do we have to be worried about here? No. Communist China's not letting anyone in, so. Are you doing this? No. Why are you not doing this? I guess we could just do it right here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, you guys get over there. And then you guys are going to cover here. Okay. And hopefully that keeps all these troops from attacking me. These are all European troops that have somehow moved all the way over into Mongolia. I don't know if I like that. I don't think that should be fair. You have open borders with them, Switzerland? I don't know when you got open borders with them. Why are you moving troops? I mean, I suppose it makes sense. You have military access. Okay. Okay. Suck it. My hope is ultimately Soviet Union declares war on Europe, because if Soviet Union declares war on Europe, then Europe's going to be distracted and we might have a chance, but somehow I doubt that's going to happen. They actually have an, uh, they're giving military access. Do they have non-aggression? Yes, they do. Err, err. If Soviet Union declares war on us, we're screwed. Our other options, we're going to take all these troops, and once they get over here, then I think we're going to start declaring, uh, taking over Malaysia and the Indies and stuff like that. And really, I mean, that's our only hope at this point, is just to maintain what we have really and conquer as much of their stuff like I'm feeling pretty confident with my Navy our Navy's freaking baller right now so as long as we can keep our Navy up to snuff uh, we're gonna be okay I'm gonna go for zero I think it's one of the best planes in the game although I just don't know I think. I mean, I would assume so, because Zero was pretty awesome in World War II, so we want to get you up as quick as possible. 
Are you guys moving? Oh my gosh. China, stop blowing things up, man. Uh, he just wants me to declare war on them. The thing is... If we declared war on him, who all pulls in? Maybe the Soviet Union? That's the only thing I can think of. Shanxi probably as well, right? I would assume all the Chinese dudes, these guys would all team up together. And the thing is, I just don't really care about fighting all of them. That would just be annoying. By the way, Iran, you're not giving open borders, okay? We kind of need to keep an eye out for open borders with European allies. We might also need to be a little wary of getting hit from behind, too. So, uh, hey, we also want you guys to... This is way too much areas to garrison, but... Because a naval invasion right now would just be a nasty, nasty thing. So I'm not going to have them guard anything but the, uh, the sea. And in fact, I think we can probably say forget all this. Surely China wouldn't declare war on me. Communist China. Surely not, right? I'm taking away anything that's like not a sea zone. Because, and we basically just want you to guard coastline and lower resistance as needed. That's fine. Okay, research lots. Uh, we're 1941 January, so we're about a year away. Are those sniper rifles? Night vision. Hmm. The other thing we could look at doing, maybe we should um, bump these guys up finally. Now we should get our factories. The other thing we can look at doing is start getting some nukes. It's just so slow, but you know, if we could start nuking America, I don't really know how it works in this game. My assumption is... Screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> My assumption is what will happen is if we nuke the America, like the America, if we nuke America, it just lowers their stability. That's my assumption. Aren't we? Yeah, we are staging a coup. Oh, yeah, we're staging a coup in Texas. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> no, them Texans, they like their guns. Let's go, man. I'm from Texas. I live in Texas, so I can make fun of Texas. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to be keeping this episode a little on the shorter side, probably, so I don't puke. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm like, not worried about puking. I'm not puked in, like, two days, but um, just want to be a little safe. Talking too much is, you know, strenuous right now. Yeah, so he still has troops on the border. Luckily, our troops are really, really strong. That's what probably helps us a lot right now. Because we got some really strong troops. So, hey, Soviet Union, I don't suppose you would like to declare war on Europe. Like, think of how much territory you could take if you declared war on Europe, man. They couldn't they couldn't stop you. They couldn't do anything to stop you. Is there any, like, let's see. Is there anything here that says, they just skipped a war with Japan. <clears throat> At any point, he could, you know, start that. He could also come over here. That's what we want. Get Aptite. Although, are these... I don't know. I don't know. At some point, he might end up going to war because he doesn't have any other options to research. So he just goes to war and uh, bad things happen. <laughs> At that point, GG. At that point, GG. Can we, like, I think we could fight them to a standstill. The problem is we're fighting against the entire world. I'm confident in our abilities to take on anyone 1v1. I'm not confident in taking in anyone by myself. I, I feel like we're kind of in a bad situation for that to happen. You guys should all be using the railroads, and I really hate that for whatever reason. They don't want to use the railroads. Okay, the 24 we still need to do. Use the freaking railroads, man. I understand. Like, you hit it, but it doesn't always work that way. So, more civilian factories. Um. We're going to want to start grabbing those, probably. I mean, is this worth it? This is what I'm thinking. Well, yeah, we could build a bunch of coastal forts to protect against the invasion. But if they ever get to the point where they're doing naval invasions on me, I think we're screwed. <laughs> I think we got to be aggressive. I think we just keep popping out military factories. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get more infrastructure going. Get more factories. Let's start with the infrastructure. Because I think if they ever get to that point... Yeah, let's improve it here, because we are moving through here. But yeah, we got lots of factories over there, man. But I really feel like if it ever gets to the point where... Um, they're moving through my territory, or they're doing naval invasions, that means my fleet uh, is no longer working quite right. And I think at that point, we're screwed. So we lost one bomber. That's fine. We lost one bomber. That's fine. Okay. These are all fine. He is attacking, but he's attacking Siam. Perfect. When did that happen? Yo, I need you to come down here. Apparently France has a territory here. Yep. He only has like two troops, so... Ugh. Probably gonna take over the island here, just to stop. Um... Who's all moving? Where are you guys? You guys don't have any orders. You guys are over there. You guys are over there. So you know what? You guys are down here now. Changing my mind. You guys come over here. Get everyone down here as quick as possible. And use the railway. He only has a couple troops. So we're going to be able to knock them back pretty easily. Uh, get ready to untake the railway. Well, that didn't work, right? Uh, if we can cut them off the seaport, they're going to be in a really bad spot. You're coming through here. And then you're going to immediately push over here. Yep. Goodbye. It was a cute little attempt while it lasted. But sorry. I wasn't going to let you take this. Uh, coincidentally, this is why, you know, we were protecting against the coast. So, oh well. Okay, you come down here now. Keep pushing. Just surround and eliminate. Or not. That's fine as well. You get over here. You guys get over here. He's landing more troops in an attempt to, you know, hopefully keep himself alive. I don't think that's going to go too well. You push this way. Mostly because I'm just trying to keep the pressure on across the water. It's getting to the point where, yeah, he did. Okay, we good. Okay, all you guys just come murder these guys. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is we want to then do a naval invasion from here and we're going to take over here and we want to take over um what is this exactly again what province is this salon hmm i don't remember the name but yeah they ended up taking back because then we take this one, they ended up taking it back. In the scheme of things, that's probably okay. It's just it's annoying having to micromanage all these little islands, which is why I think the Europe fights a little more better. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, I'll have to see how that one works out, but that's okay. Unassigned division, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, Mr. Horsey Dude is going to join our Horsey Dudes. Uh, which is going to be... Who's our horsey dudes? Where are... There's a 72. So, Mr. Horsey Dude, go join... Oh, you're in the horsey dudes. Never mind. You then are going to go join the 70 guy. Yep. And you guys were all moving where? Here. So, let's get you all over there. National Spain capitulated. Well, alright. Is it still us against everyone, then? Yep. Can can I just, like, I didn't want to be a part of the Axis. I hate that, man. <laughs> like, I hate that. I didn't ever want to go into this war, but I joined this war, and now it's just, like, completely over. Peace conference is over. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. We're good, then. Everything worked out. So, let's see. Soviet Union took seven states. UK took seven. Uh, Socialist Republic of Germany was puppeted. Interesting by, I would assume, Soviet Union? Austria, Soviet Republic was puppeted. Kind of a tiny one. The Democratic PNL has been put in power in Romania. 
This is a very interesting map. Lithuania SSR was puppeted. Czechoslovakia was puppeted. Republic Spain was public, uh, uh, public, puppeted. <laughs> uh, Italy has been put in power in Republic Italy. Ethiopia was liberated. Libya was liberated. Republic Spain was liberated. Okay, this is interesting because, um, this is very unusual. Yeah, like a lot of puppets and stuff like that. Hi. I was just kidding about this war. <laughs> can we just peace out? Well, I mean, here's the thing. You can see our losses. We're winning, so what's up? Unfortunately, we have to take on France and probably all these new puppets now, too. Ugh. Way to go, Germany. Uh, however, Germany did get puppeted by Soviet Union. Yeah, wow. Wow. Wow, is that not scary, dude? <laughs> wow, that influence for the Soviet Union, man. I'm sorry if I'm England at this point, or UK rather, or and France, I'm more worried about the Soviet Union. Their power projection is stupid. They still have all this, but... We might... We might still see something happen here between these guys. Shouldn't this go down? I feel like this should be go down. I feel like that should go down. It's like max 100% right now. Uh, what do we care about? National defense state? What does this do? Totalization we didn't need. We were doing zeros, weren't we? The zero. Thank you. And red naval battles. We destroyed two. Yeah. Keep bringing your ships out one at a time, please. I really appreciate it. It's helpful. So you guys are going to go. You're going to get ready to launch. France pursues nuclear technology. That sounds terrible. Go ahead and launch as soon as able. Cancel non-aggression pack. Okay. We lack intel to send a daring invasion. Assign more navy or air wings. Ugh, fine. Where do we have our planes? It's a good question. I don't think our planes are doing much of anything. They aren't. some of you guys over there. Let's split them up a little bit. We do have some planes going there, right? Yeah, no, we moved too many. You go over there, then. Then, the rest of you guys? I think we all moved down here. And we're gonna try putting them over on Malaysia. So, does that give us enough intel now? Please. Are you guys actually doing missions? You are. Do normal operations. Merge everyone up. Do interception in that. So, we need naval supremacy. Sorry, I'm figuring this out for the first time. It's gained by air superiority ships on missions. So, we need some ships over there. So we can do naval invasions. So what you're saying is I need ships. That is not really what I want to hear right now. Ooh, yay, four more guys. That's four more garrison units. Thank you, we need them. Uh, where did my tank go? I thought we had a tank. Apparently I saw the tank. <laughs> I made up in my mind there was a tank there. Do I really want to move my troops? Well, we're going to need them over here. I just want to protect my islands, so I don't really want to split my fleet up. I could split my fleet. I just don't want to. I mean, America is not bringing that much scary naval forces to bear. We could. Dude, I hate seeing all these European troops over there. I hate this. We have a really good navy. Really, really good navy. So, let us deselect you, and then we want you to go on patrol. Every freaking time. <laughs> it's right-click. 
I think that, that should be one of those things that, like, you can click the wrong button and it still allows you a little bit of leeway and grace. Okay. We do have another naval flight uh, fight going, but that's fine. Updated equipment. Sweet. New, uh, new ships? New ships. Yeah. So, destroyer or battleship? Why could we upgrade the destroyer to a battleship? Doesn't make sense. Uh, what's our naval experience? Well, let's save it for our badass battleships. The Super Yamanoto. Yamoto. Speaking of which. We're boosted 50%, but it's 44. Ah, I want to. I really want to. Don't get me wrong. Let's get our, uh, let's get subs then. We can also do more um, naval invasion. Yep. Yep. So that's good. Air wings with no missions. You guys are all over here now. You're going to grab... Fortunately, we can't get naval, but you're going to at least just grab the sea zone here. Heh. Heh. Oh, it's the guy that's over here. That makes sense. Do we li literally, oh, that's the air support. Yeah, we just want you in air support. And I actually don't even want you in air support over here. I actually want you in air support over here. It's kind of hard to tell, but I want you in air support here just to protect. Okay, that makes more sense. Venezuela wants two divisions? Hell yeah, dude. What's up, Venezuela, man? You want to be bros? You want to be bros, dude? I will be bros. Guarantee their independence. Then aggression pack. Now, you want to join my faction? Mm, maybe. 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 Volunteer forces and transferring insufficient resources. They didn't ask me, and I didn't just send him some, right? I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Available war goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So our dudes are almost in position, finally, right? They are. So let us... You know, it might be easier if we grab the Philippines just because we're here. It's not like the Philippines have anything worth anything. Nah, you know what? It's probably just better to take over Malaysia and just be done with it. Because this is where all the resources are. Apparently, from what I heard, Texas has more oil than Iran. 608. Oh, so it might have been a really good idea then to make... Uh, Texas be the start of of the revolution in America. It does have more. Dang. Alright. Yeah. Let's ally them up, dude. Really, we want to get this. The D Dutch East Indies. There's not that much right here. Philippines doesn't have anything though, so that's fine. Let's we'll start here. So, uh, we're taking you. We're doing a naval invasion. Let's get back in the right map mode. From here. See, some things are left click and some... Some things are right click, and it's always confusing which is which. And you're gonna go back over here. Yeah. And we want our naval fleet. Oh my gosh, every time. <laughs> we're sinking quite a few. Oh no, we're losing quite a few ships. Never mind. Oh, they have quite a few planes over here. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, they actually have a lot of planes over here. It's one thing we didn't really consider much. Yeah, we didn't really consider how many planes they would have over here. Hmm. What is happening here? I have no idea. Where's my where's my fleet though? There should be an easier way to like select your fleet. Like I want like a quick select on my fleet. That would be very helpful. Uh, all right, well, let's just wait a minute. Two divisions in Kanto. All right, let's find Kanto. It's gonna be a little slower of an episode. I apologize. All right, well you're not doing much over there helping fight. Uh, you guys are supposed to be patrolling. Why are you way over there? 
Do you even need repairs? Let's well, split off. Split off is now enabled. Oh my gosh, every time. Just split off the hurt troops. I don't understand why this is hard, because every other uh, game that they do, like Paradox does, allows you to do this. You guys go grab these three then. And you guys should split off all the injured sh ships. Kind of. They just don't need to repair it. Okay, that works. So then, these guys... Is it on? It's enabled. Okay. You guys are doing good. You guys are okay. Yeah. If we find ourselves fighting the entire uh, Western Naval Fleet, we're probably into trouble, but... For now... For now, we'll just deal with what we got. Okay, so we got naval now in both of these spots. So that means both of these should probably go 1622. Soonish. Wait, are you not assigned? Oh, it's happened! Yes! Oh, we're actually launching it. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Texas! Oh my lord! <laughs> wow! Wow! I was expecting Texas! Okay, so let's see, we got Louisiana, Oklahoma, Florida, uh, Georgia, Alabama, and you're Missouri, right? I should know these. Tennessee, both Korea, uh, Carolina's Korea's, Kentucky, uh, uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, oh, Kentucky, rather, and Illinois. Heck yeah, dude! Let's go, man. Let us freaking go. 33 to 60. <gasps> and they have more troops than America. Let's go. What do you need? I will send you everything. Can I send volunteers? Who's the leader? William Dudley Pele. I can send land lease. What do you need? We have 11,000 in storage. We have 75,000 in storage. Uh, how about 10,000 a month? Current lend lease. The Free American has 247 of the 1,400 needed convoys. Oh. Uh, alright. Well, how about 1,000? Sure. Basically, you just give them some of my old stuff. Sounds good. You can have some of that. Why can't I send volunteers? 20th of April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they joined our faction, too. Oh, so we're just at war with them. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that sucks. I would rather them have their own little war that we weren't a part of that we could just send volunteers. Uh, because then we could just send troops over there. Now we have to, like, do a whole naval invasion over there, and that's kind of annoying. So, you have 28 troops over here? Oh, those are ships. I was like, what? Five ships and three fleets. Gave us a lot of vision, actually, on American whereabouts. <gasps> oh, no! That's amazing! The reason we have visions because these are the free American empires. Oh, so I now have troops. I have access to Hawaii. Lord, yes. Hell yeah. Okay, forget this Malaysia thing. Right? Like, can't we just go all the way over here to Hawaii and then do naval invasions? Oh, wait, that's you guys. Never mind. Uh, I meant you guys. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Pretend I didn't do that. Yo, come over here to Hawaii. Oh my gosh, it works. We played the long game and the long game paid out. Yes, baby, let's go. Okay, so if I can get all 24 of these suckers... Eh, they don't have a lot of armor. We might want to send these guys over here. Do I want to just say forget the Malaysia for now? I kind of want to say forget Malaysia for now. 
I could use these guys. Because getting the heavy tanks over in America would be so helpful. We could do some, like, uh, attacks in Los Angeles. Battle of LA. Let's go. Although, honestly, we'll probably go down here. I think San Diego, yeah. I'd rather take San Diego. San Diego has a rather large support of a uh, large naval invasion. Can we get you in our faction? No. They have a neutral war policy. And Canada hates us. They're already in the war. So if there's one problem, it's the fact that Canada is also in on this war. So Canada is going to basically have their 24 troops in here as quick as possible. And it's a large border for America to hold. And America has so many troops over here now. That's a bit of a problem. Okay. Okay. That changes a lot. I know I'm moving really slow. I'm just debating, because this is not at all how I was expecting any of this to go. <laughs> we could... We could take these guys off. Just pray the Soviet Union doesn't declare war on us. We've been playing... The Risk game this entire time. I mean, the thing is, it's not like there's anything up here. So, like, worst case scenario, we just draw our borders, like, right here. I'm fine with that. If if it's that and we capture America, I'm okay with that. So, let's go for it. So, you are part of who? This guy right here. You only have 13 troops. It's not as many as I'd hoped. That's fine. So, guess what, dude? You are now um, going to delete your orders. And you are instead going to come over here and land in Honolulu. Congratulations. You get a vacation. You have to get to a port first, don't you? <laughs> uh. Come down here. Use this so you get there quicker. And then we'll send you over there by port. How do we want to rush some stuff out? That's the other question. We're about to get more infantry. You guys are just lacking... A little bit of equipment. Oh, you know what we needed to do? I'm not producing anything right now. Yeah, we're surplus of everything right now. Almost. Except motorized equipment. Why are we so short on oil? Huh, I missed that. Oh, we're missing 65 oil. Oh, that would be a problem. We'll send it to Venezuela. Because we know they're going to exist after this war. So, uh, yeah, whoops. I forgot about that. And the funny thing is, I actually knew that was a thing. Because I saw it uh, at the end of the last episode. And I didn't make the trade. <laughs> so that's why we weren't producing anything. Okay, so let's do this. We don't need two lines of this sucker anymore. I'm going to grab a second line instead of motorized we could use the second line of that. We need some tanks. We don't need any artillery. We don't need this many planes. We could use more planes. We just don't need that many. Something like that should be fine. Okay. We'll get all that going. So since we have all of that... Um, we have enough troops. I think what we can say is, hey, we don't need to worry about upgrading anymore. So you guys go back to there. There. Now let's put everyone else back to medium. So we don't need to spend all these troops upgrading or reinforcing or anything like that. So they'll start popping these guys out probably a little quicker then. In fact, might want to just start bumping up our infantry. Just so we can get more troops out. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Okay, I like this. We're in a good spot now. So then, you are no longer doing this. Yep, I think we're just, we gotta go for America now. We have to while we still have a chance. So, you guys get over here too. We need to get a launch in. So, I just need, um... Are you, uh, are America, the free American empire, not to be an idiot? <laughs> Which, 
Admittedly, sometimes it doesn't always work the way you want it to. So we got random infantry. You can join. Who are the guys going east? I think it was these guys. So all of these guys are going to eventually go over to Hawaii. There's got to be a... I wish we could just say spawn over here. That would just be so much easier. But whatever. We're low on manpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're popping out a bunch of troops right now. So we're going to be pretty low. We can switch our mobilization laws eventually. We just need to get things taken care of. Dude, that's awesome. I am so excited. That worked out so well for us. Oh, I wanted uh, one last thing. I wanted you guys to have a fallback line. To right here. We'll go there. Can we do two fallback lines? I don't know if that works. No, it doesn't look like it. But, I actually don't really care about them defending that. In fact, Europe actually moved their troops off. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I wonder what that means. I don't know. Uh, you're going to go join these guys. I have to manually tell you to go over there, because why wouldn't I? That doesn't seem stupid at all. If I can just get, like, some of those troops over there. Oh, oh, and then we need to take our fleet. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? As soon as I move them. Uh... Where's Hawaii? At least we're really learning the location of Hawaii right now. Uh, okay, so we want to take our fleets then. Specifically you suckers. This fleet. And we're going to start pushing over towards America. So, cancel your orders. And we want you to patrol... Every time. See, right click doesn't work! Why?! Uh, and now I can't find my fleet. <laughs> uh, totally cool. Did we ever end up taking this? You're serious? We ended up losing all of our ships? All of our attacking units? Alright, screw that. Yeah, we're gonna go back. How do we end up losing all of them? Actually, hey, let's go back real quick and let's look at the May one. See if we lost that. How did we lose all of our units? They should have just retreated. Unless they came with their fleet and blew us up. That's the only thing that would have made sense. No, yeah, we lost. So all 54 of our convoys got destroyed by their fleet. Even though our fleet is sitting right here in the area, too. Alright, that seems completely and totally... Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. This game. There's things about this game that are annoying that I just don't understand. Okay, so let's do it this way. I think since we know what's up, I'm just gonna delete all this. Although, you know what? I still would like to have it. But here's the thing. Would I rather conquer America, or would I rather hold on to this crap? I would rather conquer America. <laughs> so we're going to move you over here. But then who's going to defend our line back here? Fine. I hate this. I hate this. I still want to know why the freaking heck we lost all of our troops. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, all I want you guys to do is guard the coast. Yeah, I still don't know how we end up losing all of our troops. That seems a little weird. So, hopefully when this pops, it pops up the same spread, and this episode's gonna be a little longer, but it's okay. So, I then want to put all of our ships back together. Can we get all our ships together? Please? You are the ones that are way over there. Um, you're actually supposed to be right here, I think. No, this is fine. 
Normal operations. Wait, you have air. What? These aren't those troops. Where the freaking heck are these? Thank you, Venezuela. Yeah, where the heck are these guys, man? Soru. S O R Y U. Seriously? K O K U. Why can't I freaking find these planes? It's these guys right here. The close air support. What the heck? It was selecting different bombers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Some of the things in this game are a little hard to understand sometimes. Apparently we have naval bombers over there, which doesn't seem helpful at all. So, go back over here. And we're going to keep fighting the allied fighters over here. Boom. Alright, let's see. Same? Yeah, actually exact same. Uh, no! No, this worked out a little better because we have Indiana now. Except, uh, we didn't get South Carolina. But South Carolina should fall in like five seconds. So, alright, let's get all of our crap moving over in that direction. So, all of these guys. Yeah, let's just start moving everyone over to Hawaii. Maybe. Maybe. So Hawaii is now owned by the US. Oh. Alright. Well, that sucks. That's fine. We'll go to Midway then. Yeah, we'll go to Midway, and we'll start pushing over in that direction. That's fine. We'll start Midway. This is all our fleets. We're going to merge you guys back up. Are you my best one? No. You should be that guy. Uh, and then we want to take our fleet, and we want to go protect Midway. So do patrol. Cancel. We want to enable so that they'll split off. And then patrol, yes. Go. Oh my god, every freaking time. <laughs> <laughs> Patrol. Here. On Mac on. There. Hawaii. And we're going to start by invading Hawaii. We'll start going this direction as best as we can. So why can't we do over here? Maximum mission range for all selected units. There's no missions. We know too little about the region. So I guess we just need a fleet over in that uh, general area. Okay. Okay, I think we're in a better spot now. And so then what we wanted to do is, you guys were there. Who were the guys that were over here? We're going to delete your army. And we want army five, which is this guy. And then you guys are also going to come over here to Midway. They won't move to Midway. So go here first, and then you'll go to Midway. Okay, I think maybe, 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 maybe we got this handled. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think, so go ahead and hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, share the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.